What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you on my journey into cryptocurrency. So let's quickly take a look at the market again. Bitcoin really hasn't gone up that much today, just a little bit compared to yesterday. And so far as you can see, we are still diverging from the 26th day EMA. Uh, as I said, it's going to take a few days at, at the minimum. So at this point, it's probably going to be longer than, uh, than the end of the week. So maybe next week, we'll see. But point being, even when we start converging, it really takes about a week before we actually know for sure that Bitcoin is actually in ascending mode. At this point, it's probably like closer to end of January before we know for sure that Bitcoin is going to continue to go up. So does that mean it's a good time to buy right now? Probably. I mean, if you actually have money left, I know a lot of people already put in a lot of money over the last Christmas when everything went skyrocketing and then plummeted. So right now, I know a lot of people are just in the hodl mode. One other thing I want to talk about before I begin today's topic is uh, I made a post on Steemit regarding Jedi Knight's response video to box mining video. So I'm just responding to Jedi Knight's video. It's about BitConnect and I really don't want to talk about BitConnect on videos anymore. So I'm just going to make a post on Steemit. If you guys want to check it out, take a look, read it, and have a conversation over there. But let me go on to today's topic. Today I want to talk to you guys about VinChain. What is VinChain? I created a document here that you guys can see a link, find a link down below that discusses exactly what the research I have done on VinChain. What is the purpose of the VinChain project? This project will create a publicly available database using blockchain technology for all cars being sold in the secondary market to verify the condition of the vehicles. For people that haven't bought a second-hand car before, the experience is a little tricky, especially buying it to the owner because you don't really know what the owner has done to his car. Like maybe they, the owner sped the odometer backwards so that you know, you're know you thinking you're buying a 30,000 mile car when the, when the car actually had over 130,000 miles. So these things you really don't know. What a lot of people do, and I have done in the past, at least in the United States anyway, I'm not sure that this applies to the rest of the world, is they use something called Carfax. So Carfax lets you type in the VIN number of a particular car and be able to pull as much history as possible for that car. The problem with Carfax is, and I've used it before personally, it's just that there, there's not much information in there. It's very, there's, you tell like buy and sell and that's about it. You don't really have enough information on the car itself. But this is where VinChain comes in. In addition to the fact that I really truly like the idea of using the blockchain to store this kind of information because this is really what the blockchain is built for, to store this kind of information. It's a transaction of assets. So this is the perfect way. It's just like you know, tra you're transacting Bitcoin, but then in here you're just transacting cars, but then you're not really, because you can't really store the actual car on the blockchain, but you can store all the information about the car on the blockchain. So that's what I really truly like about this project. This here's what really makes it one step above Carfax. So what they do is they have something called ODB2 device. And one of it is that you plug that into the car and then this device will communicate with the VinChain app. It will send the information to the app and then it will record all this information on the app itself. And then you as a user will then decide how much of that information will send to the blockchain. The more information you send, the more VinChain coins you get. So you can get a really detailed report on your car for the next person that buys your car. So now let's quickly go over the roadmap. The roadmap is in their white paper. Mm -hmm. They tell you that it was the idea was created last year in February 2017. They had the white paper created in October last year. And then they're gonna they had a pre-sale already of the ICO, the pre-ICO back last year, December 1st to December 24th. And now we're gonna go into the main ICO phase. They listed here in the white paper actually in March, but they actually uh, up the time to February 1st because they realized during the pre-ICO that a lot of people couldn't get into the pre-ICO phase because of the cloud network with Ethereum. They also did say that they are going to have, um, they are going to accept other coins like Litecoin and Bitcoin to buy into the ICO. I definitely would prefer buying into this project with Litecoin than Ethereum considering with Ethereum you have to spend a lot of gas. So one thing I want to point out though that I don't really like on the list on the roadmap is that they are going to try to create this so January to April development of MVP which is MVP stands for minimum viable product so it's basically just like a, a beta version more or less to show off uh, what they are trying to make and the concept make sure it works properly 
What I don't like is the fact is, to me, four months is really, really tight to create the app, the API, the website, you know, all that stuff in four months. I spent like a couple of months in a startup kind of thing that try to do exactly that, building a, uh, a website, a app, and that's the back end. And it's, it's just not easy unless you have a really a big team to actually do all this stuff done. And even then, it's it's going to take a lot of work. So we'll see if they can actually do it. The other thing I don't like about this particular ICO is that the CEO, Alex Miles, he doesn't have that much experience in terms of being a CEO. This is the first time being a CEO of a company. And he and before that, he does have some experience as, as, as a CMO for a better bit call auctions. But going back to my document here, well, who can participate? Everyone. How many VeChain coins are there? There's a total of 1 billion coins. It's gonna be a fixed supply. So that's a good thing. Even though 1 billion, I think it's a little high, but it's not extravagant compared to something like Ripple with 55 billion. And there's also a sale restriction for the team of two years, which I'm always looking for that whenever I look at the ICO. Just wanna make sure that the team can just take the money and run in a sense. Well, not just take the money and run, but just like take the money and just not do anything with it, which is, you know, one thing you always have to worry about with ICOs. So again, the platform is going to be Ethereum. I prefer other platforms these days just because Ethereum is clogged up. Is there a GitHub? None currently. And that's one thing that with mo most ICOs, they probably not much GitHub activity until they actually have the funding. But I do want to see that in the future. This is my opinion of the project. What do I like most about the project? They're actually using the blockchain correctly, storing really useful data in a publicly available, immutable database. And that's the key part about it because you want to have a record of the call as it ages and you want that to be immutable so that if someone spins back the odometer, you actually see that on record and they can't, you know, they, you prove that this call is there's something fishy about it. You wouldn't want to buy it as a secondhand call buyer. What I dislike most about the project, they are extremely underestimating the development time for the API and mobile application. Some of the features described in the white paper, like remote start your call, isn't possible with an ODB2 device, as I mentioned there. Um, I mean, it really depends on your call. So I have something similar in my car already. It's called the automatic. I plug into my car, it's able to geolocate on my car, tell me if my car has engine problems, things like that. But then it depends on the car. Some models that you can it doesn't do remote start, I don't think, but like you can do features like that with this kind of device to remote start your car if your car supports it. So if your car doesn't support it, you can't even, there's certain features like how much fuel you have left in your car, it won't even tell you that if your car doesn't support it. So it depends on your car. As I mentioned, I also don't like that the CEO has no prior CEO experience and no experience with the blockchain technology. So here's a key aspect that some people might want to know. How much would I invest if I had $1,000 to diversify in ICOs? I would say $100 just because I really truly like a project, but at the same time, it's just like, will this project be something that gonna change the world? I don't know, I mean, I, I it's hard to say. I, I think that as big as it sounds, it it's not gonna really change the world because we already have existing um, platforms like Carfax that does these kind of stuff even though you could they're gonna try to do it much better So we'll see but that is my opinion of the VinChain ICO One other thing I want to mention is that I'm on telegram now So if you guys want to talk to me on telegram, I'm not putting a link just yet Just because I don't want to have just any random people just join the channel for no particular reason So what I want you guys to do is leave a comment down below with your telegram ID and I will add you guys. I want to really curate this channel, make sure that we really just talk about cryptocurrency and it really isn't about like throwing referral links left and right because you'll get banned if you do that. Anyway, so that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.